when you record time in Excel, like 2.30. If you want to perform calculations like billing by hour, you'll often need a decimal number. So instead of 2.30, you want 2.5 hours. Before we convert the times, let me quickly show you how Excel thinks about time. In the first column, I've added a few time values. Now I'm going to expand this list until we reach the next midnight. Then I'm going to copy them into the next column and convert them into numbers. Now, I'll show more decimal places so we can see exactly how Excel is calculating these fractions. As you can see, 12 hours equals 0.5 and 24 hours equals 1, which means Excel stores time as a fraction of a 24-hour day. Now that we understand how Excel stores time, converting it to decimal hours becomes really easy. All we need to do is multiply the time by 24. The result may still look like a time, so let's reformat the cell to number so the decimal shows correctly. Then I will drag the fill handle down to copy the formula to below cells. If you ever want to convert time to decimal minutes, After multiplying the time by 24 and get decimal hours, multiply the result by 60. Or, you can just multiply the time directly by 1440. KuTools for Excel makes this even easier. Select your time cells, then go to the KuTools tab. Select Content, Convert Time, and choose Time to Hours. The times are converted on the spot. If you'd rather keep the original times, and show the decimal hours next to them, just copy the time column, paste it to a new column, and run the time to hours command again.